Hello world, here's Bitty, your Bitcoin trading informant, and this is your daily update for Bitcoin. Guys, we closed yesterday the year. The year 2021 is over. Happy New Year 2022. And yes, we closed it with a price about 46,300. We saw a bad dump to the downside. But guys, look at this. It was a really good year for Bitcoin. Why? You can see it here. We made 58% plus. You have to search in the whole world something to make 50, 58% plus. So it's a really, really, really nice thing for Bitcoin 2021 closed yesterday. And now we will check what's going on. Will we see tomorrow the mega pump to 57,000? We will check this now in this update. Guys, let's go. So here we are. This is coin market cap. What can we see here? And yes, we can see Bitcoin is going down a little bit. 0.25% in 24 hours and 8% in the week. That's not good. We have a bad bearish picture on the right side. We are going down also with Ethereum. Ethereum is going down with 0.2% and 8% in the week. Also a red bearish sign on the right side. The Binance coin is going up a little bit. 0.36%. But 6% minus in the week. Solana is going up a little bit, but in a week it's going down 11%. Cardano down a little bit. XRP up a little bit, but in a week also down really hard. So we can see, yes, some coins are going up a little bit in the day, but in the week the most coins are going down and that's not nice. Polkadot 4% in the minus. Avalanche and so on and so on and so on. And yes, you can see the most coins are going down in the week. So let's check what coin is the biggest winner. For the moment, it's Oasis in 24 hours, 13.7% in the plus. Phantom is also going up really nice, 10.8% in the plus. And Cosmos Atom is going up also really nice. Biggest loser, Celsius 6.3%, Sushi 5.8%, and Gnosis is going down with 5.5%. So these are the three biggest losers of the 24 hours. And now let's check what coin is the biggest winner in seven days. Biggest winner is Oasis. Oasis is going up 42%. Really amazing. Sushi Swap is going up 25%. Cosmos Atom 24% plus in the week. These coins are mooning at the moment. Okay. The next thing. What coin is the biggest loser in seven days? We will check this also. First of all, you can see a lot of coins are going up really nice. Monero is here going up really nice. Phantom is going up really nice. Attention, attention. Some altcoins are really mooning. We can see the Bitcoin dominance 40%. Ethereum 20%. Okay, we are moving on here to the coin market. And you can see the Bitcoin dominance, guys. The Bitcoin dominance is uh, on the middle line since long, long time, since May 2021. It is on the middle line since months is it's on the middle line. We are fighting with the middle line, but for the moment, we have it back. The middle line is back as a support. We are over 40%. And uh, you know it, guys, if you tune in a little bit, if the Bitcoin price dominance is going up, it's better to trade Bitcoin as the altcoins. For the moment, we see a little, a little pump to the upside. You can see it and we are over 40% over this big, big, big support line. Okay. And if you are watching this on 15 minutes, we can make one thing, guys. We can check this here. This is a little pump since midnight, maybe. Yes, yeah, since midnight, since today, we see a little pump here. Um, to the upside so for the moment this pump is better to trade bitcoin as the altcoin depends always what time frame you are trading guys so now let's move on here are the patterns what are telling us the candlestick patterns and they are not telling us really much we saw here this pattern it's not important on the daily no new pattern on the five hour no new pattern here and on the one hour it's also not important we saw here this one bearish signs we went down a little bit but after this we saw a nice spike to the upside so okay for the moment we can forget the candlestick patterns there are no new pattern here now let's come to this one guys this one is telling us the bitcoin price prediction from coin codex is telling us we will see tomorrow a pump to the upside to about fifty-seven thousand us dollar 57,000 US dollar. This should be happen tomorrow. This is telling us coin codex. I don't know why, guys. I don't know why. I can't see this bullish sense on Bitcoin for the moment. But the prediction is telling us we will go up here to 57,000 maybe. We can see we have extreme fear in the market. You can see it here. Extreme fear. Uh, we are bearish with all things here. Extreme fear and 
the prediction is also telling us it's now a bad time to buy Bitcoin. And then it's telling us we should see this pump to the upside. Guys, it's really interesting. I'm really, really interested to see what's going on tomorrow. Now let's check. We are bullish 21%. We are bearish 79%. And this is all bearish. All SMA, all AMA, EMA. This is all bearish. You can see it here. Uh, Ichimoku is neutral, but the most things are bearish or neutral. So the most things are telling us we will go down. So attention, attention, guys. The support points, if we're going down, keep this in your mind. 54,000. Uh, 50, uh, 55,000, 54,000, and 52,300 is the biggest support. This is the biggest support. And for the upside, the resistance points is 48,000, 49,600, and 50,700. That's the biggest, biggest, biggest resistance on the upside for the moment if you are watching the support and resistance points. And if we are watching the price levels here, uh, if we're going up a little bit, you can see January the third, we will make a pump about 16%. So we will check this now in our analysis. Is it possible to see something like this? And what is telling us if this is possible? So let's go with this stuff. Let's move on. This is analy the analysis. And now let's go. This is the daily time frame. And on the daily time frame, we have a nice parallel channel to the upside. You know it, guys. We are still in the big, big, big parallel channel. That's nice. Everything is okay. Everything is working. And if we are zooming in a little bit more, we can see here on the middle line is the next big target, 60,000. Yes, it's possible. We saw a big spike to the downside. Why not to see a big spike to the upside to 60,000? Maybe tomorrow. We will see. Um, let's go deeper. Let's go in the one hour time frame and let's watch what's going on here. And you can see yesterday I showed you this maybe inverse shoulder head shoulder and trend line. What happened? We broke out to the upside. But we broke down to the downside again and we made a lower low. So guys, this is ultra bearish it's not good but let's keep this line here it's now a resistance line and not a support line and it's now a big thing to fight back this resistance line we lost our uptrend and we are now in our sideways or we are still in our sideways channel this is a possible pattern maybe a w pattern to the upside 52,000 is possible and that's possible in my opinion really really soon so why not we saw here two spikes to the downside a double bottom and if we are zooming out a little bit more, you can see it. we saw here a lot of bottoms in this sideways going parallel channel. So yes, why not? Why not to make here a bottom here and moon from here? Why not? Okay, the sideways channel is really, really interesting, guys. We have a blue dot middle line here. That's the next resistance. We know it. And we can make now this stuff, guys, we need to hold. And that's the important stuff, in my opinion, 50, uh, 45,000 on the downside. These are the lowest points here. If we will go down more and more under 45,500, we may have bigger problems here. All in all, we are in this big uptrend and you can see um, 44,500 is the biggest support here because this is the bottom here of the parallel channel to the upside. And that are the big, big, big support zones on the downside. Now let's check the next thing. Let's check the Fibonacci retracement, highest point, lowest point. And you can see the next stuff, what's important. We saw here a perfect spike here to our Fibonacci, 48,300. Uh, and we went down again. So this is a big resistance to the upside. Keep this in your mind, 48,300, 400. This is the Fibonacci line and we must fight back for mooning. For the moment, we are under this and that's bad. After this, we have the middle line. After this, we have the next point, 52,000. A really, really big resistance to the upside. Also, the Fibonacci 0.382 with uh, 42,300. Uh, and then the next lines to the upside. You can see it, 55,500 maybe is the next Fibonacci. These are the targets. If we are mooning, we have to watch these targets. And you know the lowest point on the downside. I will also make a price label on it. It was the spike to 42,000 here. So now you have the targets to the upside, you have the targets to the downside. If you're going up or down, I can't predict, but this coin codex prediction is telling us 57,000 in two days. So let's draw this, guys. Let's draw. Let me search January the third here and let me search 57,000. Here is 57,000 a little bit to the left here. So. The prediction is telling us we should see a really hard upgoing spike here to the upside. So let me draw it. The prediction is telling us we will fight here all this way straight way to the upside to 57,000 
through all of these resistances, through all of this stuff to the end, maybe of the parallel channel to the upside. Okay, amazing. I'm really, really, really uh, interested in what's going on on January the 3rd and the, uh, the, the second and the third, so tomorrow. Uh, and this is the big, big thing we have to watch, guys. So let's move on. Today, a little longer video. Today, <clears throat> maybe 50 minutes, okay? Let me show you the um, uh, indicators. This is now also really interesting. What are telling us the indicators? So let's go. So first of all, let's check the relative strength index here on the one hour time frame. And we are on 50 points. Everything is okay. We can draw this line here to the upside. It's not so important, but you can see this line is the resistance line and we need to fight back if we're watching the RSI, this resistance. We have some space to the upside and that's a thing why we can catch maybe 48,000 in my opinion. The moving average is telling us if we are going down here, we have an up and down and up and down. And for the moment, we have a bullish MACD blue line over the brown line. We have the green candles here. Let's check the four hour time frame. The four hour time frame is a hard fight for the MACD. We are still bullish. We saw a little spike to the downside, but yes, we are back again. And the green candles are telling us we are still bullish if we are watching the MACD on the downside in the four hour time frame. We also can make a line here from here to here and you can see yes we have some space to the upside everything is possible we can break out to the upside in my opinion why not on the daily what is telling us the daily we are here and we can make a line from here to this point to this point and what can we see a nice breakout over this resistance it's now a support a retest a next retest and now come on baby moon to the upside in my opinion we can Here's the next resistance we have to watch. If we come uh, up here more and more, we need to fight back the red resistance line. We need to fight back the middle and then let's moon. And here it's really dangerous. Look at the downside. We are still bullish. MACD, blue line over the brown line on the daily. But we need the spike up here now. So, okay, let's move on. Remove all drawings. I will show you here, last but not least, a really important stuff. This is the golden cross. What's going on here? And here it's a really bad picture. We lost the red line. We lost the red support line. You can see the green line is coming down here. The red line is here. And if we will see a cross, both of this, we are not in a golden cross zone anymore. We will see a death cross and they are coming together and more together. And we need to fight back. That's so important. 47,800. If we are watching this golden cross, death cross indicator, 47,800, really important. We need to fight back. A confirmed closing candle over this would be really important. What can we see before we end 41,900, 45,400 and here this point 45,600 and that means guys, yes, we are making higher lows and that's good. Higher lows is a really, really good sign maybe for a bottom binding here. We need higher lows. If we will lose 45,600, that's also a really big problem if you're watching this on a bigger time frame, guys. So you know now a lot of stuff, but now before we end this video, I will show you the four hour time frame. The four hour time frame is still in a desk cross zone. You can see it here. And we saw a really nice upcoming green line, but you can see the green line is going down. And on the four hour time frame, we lost everything. We lost here the red line. We lost here the green line. And we are really bad here under both of these lines. So we need to fight back this zone. And this is so important, this zone here is really really important as long as we are under this zone i am not so ultra bullish and i can't see the future for 57000 what's selling us coin codex but hope is everything rudy greetings to rudy hope is everything so guys this was the prediction this was the forecast in my opinion for tomorrow we will see what's going on thanks for watching have a nice time very important i'm not a financial advisor this is not a financial advice please visit my live stream i'm streaming live 24 hours 7 days a week the name is bitcoin trading Informant, and i wish you a really 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 nice year 2022 i wish you all guys out there you will make millions with your trades have a nice time uspd your bitcoin trade bye bye Activated.